Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to record a voiceover in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that your mic is connected to your computer or to your audio interface. Now, once that's done, you can go over to DaVinci Resolve and start recording. Alright, so once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you'll have your project and you can move over to Fairlight where you're going to be recorded the voiceover. Then you can just create a new track by right-clicking on the left side, Add Track, Mono, and then here we can just rename that track that we've just created by clicking on it. And then here we're going to rename it VO for voiceover. Then we can go over to Fairlight and then here select patch input output. And then here in audio input, we have all mics. So in my case, that's the Rode NT USB mini. I'm going to select that. And then here I'm going to switch destination to track input. And we have the track that we've just created, the VO track. So we're going to select that as well. And now we're just going to click patch. Now we basically link our mic to this track so we're ready to record. Before doing that though, we need to arm our track by clicking the R icon right here. And once we've done that, as you can see, now we have this audio meter reacting to my voice, meaning that the mic is actually picking on my voice and connected to the track. Now we're ready to record so we can go wherever we want to record on our timeline. So here it's easy to find the place you want to start your voiceover with the video scroller or with this monitor right there. Another technique would be to use marker to mark the in and out point where you want to have your voiceover. In my case, I just want to go at the beginning, so I'm gonna go here. Then we can just click record. Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio, and today we're gonna check how to recreate the Cyberpunk opening in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Then you can just hit space to stop the recording or just click the stop button. Then we can just remove the arm on the track and as you can see, we got all voiceover. We can then just go over to the edit page and make any modification and adjustment of the timing if we want. And also in Fairlight, you can just make your usual IQ, compressor, and any other plugin that you want to apply to your voiceover. Another quick tip, if you wish to export that recording, you can just right click on it and then here select export audio file and it will just prompt open that export window. You can then just proceed to export this file wherever you want, click export, and then you'll have this individual track exported. Also, if you wonder where this recording is stored, you can go over to setting and here in capture and playback, you have save clip to. And by default right now, this folder is set up on the SSD of my computer, but I will usually set it up in the same folder structure as the project with the original clip, original SFX and music that I'm using for this specific project. So everything is in the same spot. All right, and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.